You know, in much of the Western debt-fueled consumption-addicted world, we thought we were row, 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 rowing our boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, merrily. But that life was but a dream. For in fact, the reality is that we're up a <laughs> creek without a paddle. Stacy? <laughs> Max Kaiser, literally, if you listen to this first headline, Sold Down the River, How Thames Water Diverts Its Tax Liability Via the Caribbean Despite 549 Million Pounds Profit and 6.7% Price Hike. UK's largest water company received 5 million pound treasury rebate as well. So Thames Water put up uh, customer bills by 6.7%. They paid their chief executive a 274,000 pound bonus and made profits of 549 million pounds on a turnover of 1.8 billion pounds. Yet customer satisfaction had dipped and hundreds of people's homes were flooded with sewage. Yeah, well, well this story's got it all. <laughs> Here you have a basic utility that was built, for, built by the taxpayer, built by the people in Britain through their taxes over the years as part of the common wealth, part of the public domain, essentially. It gets privatized through corruption in government, what this government or the previous government or the previous government, it's corruption. Then you've got private contractors in, they destroy it, they load it up with debt, and it doesn't even function anymore as an operating utility. So people are swimming in their own fecal matter, paying huge taxes, and watching the price of water go up for the Thames, which is, as you see right behind me, uh, a flowing river through the city of London for thousands of years. It doesn't require privatization and financial rape. But nevertheless, that's what Britain gets. 